Hello everyone, and this is JBJ, and today I am going to teach you some CSS animations. Now, you can use this for a lot of things. You can use it just for the fun of it, but you can also make some really cool menus that really stand out. And what we're going to learn to do is create these four blue boxes, and when you hover, yeah, they will expand and you might think, well, that's not very interesting, but the interesting fact is that they actually expand upwards. And usually, when you just increase the height of something, it'll actually go down. Um, and, and that's what you see in most drop-down menus. But here, you can actually make a drop-down menu facing the other way. Uh, you can also make it... Um, you, you can make info boxes. and Well, you can make a lot of things. Um, but I'm actually using it for a menu on some sites I run, and it's working really, really great. So, how do we do it? Well, let me just go ahead and increase the font size real quick. Maybe I can just zoom. Okay, I'm just going to increase the font size real quick. Terribly sorry. All righty. Okay, so in the body, we will define the structure of our document, and it's really simple. We're going to make some div containers, and we are going to make let's just make four. Yeah, that's fine. And we give them a class of menu so we can style them. Now, in the style sheet, I will catch this menu div and I will give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 50 pixels. And a background color of, let's just go with this one. A chatrice. Okay, so if we run this, real quick we get one big green blob and that's because all our div elements is actually stacking on top of each other and if we just inspect it we can see that we actually have four but they're all displaying as a block so they take up all the horizontal space so the first thing we need to do is to make them display as inline block now when we do this they will appear next to each other Okay, so one thing we have to be careful about here is that unlike other menus, we can't have this menu to be in the top because if it's in the top, when we expand it, it'll actually go out of the screen. So we will give them all a margin to the top of around 300 pixels. Now, you can make it whatever you want to and um, sometimes it's not going to be a problem. It's only going to be a problem if you want your menu in the top. Um, but we actually want it a bit down. What what I usually do is I maybe sometimes put an image background here and they will actually expand up towards the image. But you can experiment with that yourself. So what we need now is actually to make this hover effect. So when we hover, we want the height to increase. That's really basic. So we say height 200 pixels. So we change it from 50 pixels to 200 pixels. Now we don't want this to happen right away, so we are going to create a transition and we will apply this for all transitions and it should take half a second. So what this means is that if we ever change anything on our element or any um, property that is viable for transition, it will take half a second to complete. So when we change the height, when we hover it, it will look at the transition and say, okay, well, we want all transitions to be animated, so this will take half a second to complete. So let's see if that's the case. And yes, it is. Now, the problem here is that, well, we actually have a twofold problem. The first one is that it's expanding downwards, 
Um, and the other problem is that it's actually dragging all the other elements with it when it does it. So we need this animation to happen in the opposite direction. So what can we do about this? Well, we could mess around with the position, but there's a much easier way to do it. When we apply this hover effect, we are going to apply a negative margin to the top of 150 pixels, which just happens to be the difference of our starting height and our current height. So if we run this, you can actually see that now they are expanding in the other direction, or it appears as it is, but what's actually happening is that it's increasing in height, plus it's moving closer to the top. And that's what's making it appear as though it's actually just moving upwards, um, even though it's, it's actually just an illusion. But I think it looks really, really great, and there's a lot of different ways to use this. As I said before, you can use it for menus, you can use it for menu boxes, um, it can even represent a graph. When you hover over a certain bar in the graph, you, you would increase it. But uh, yeah, that's actually what I wanted to show you. It's uh, really simple. You just apply it with heights, and when you hover over it, you just change the margin by the exact amount you increase the height with, because we increase the height by 150 pixels, so we end at 200. Um, and because of that, we need to move it 150 pixels and close to the top. All right, so that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching, and please comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos or if you just want to say something. So, I hope it helps, and I'll see you guys next time.